What is up my couture click and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hi, my name is Jasmine. I go by Pinup Couture with two E's at the end. So I'm giving you guys my February favorites, my February fails. These are the products that I've been loving and then some products that were just a little womp womp this month. So before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. You will be part of the Couture Click family. Also, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Pinup Couture with two E's at the end. So these are in no particular order. Um, I'm just going to start because it's the first thing that's right on top inside my little box. And that's going to be my purse for this month that I absolutely love. Now you guys have seen this purse in my weekly vlogs. I absolutely love this this purse. So this purse I ordered online from DSW. It is like a off-white cream beige kind of like furry um, purse. I hope you guys can see the pattern. So it almost reminds me of like uh, sheepskin a little bit like kind of like that like real um, real fluffy and kind of tight. Um, you do have your gold strap here in the middle and then it does come with a strap that you can make it longer to make it like a crossbody. So let me show you. So I have worn this bag out twice so far and I'm actually, I'm actually gonna wear it today properly. I haven't tried my outfit on completely but it matches my sweater. So I'm probably gonna wear it today and I'm thinking I'm gonna wear it today um, with the crossbody because the other two times I just wore it um, just from the, the little gold chain like a little hand purse but today i think i'm gonna wear that as a crossbody to keep it more casual even though we are about to transition into springtime this was the perfect fall purse and i think right now it's on sale for like 20 dollars. so if you like this purse go ahead and snatch this up i will leave the link down below also what i love most about this bag was the size of it um it's the perfect size bucket bag um i was able to put my camera my wallet my keys glasses sunglasses whatever i need lip glosses everything fit in this bag <laughs> And it has like the two um, two pockets on both sides, which I really appreciate that as well. So definitely was one of my favorites for the month of February. So moving on to my next favorite for the month of February is going to be from the brand Black Radiance. And this is a contour palette. This is the True Complexion Contour Palette. And I got the dark to deep. Now, anytime I try to get a contour, I like a really dark contour. Like I get the darkest color. Like I like to be... Chisel. And I do have different colors. They have medium to dark, which I think I want to try next. Um, this is the dark to deep. I feel like the dark to deep might have been too dark for me, but I still really appreciate this palette. So you do get three colors in this palette. You get your contour sculpting and then you get your highlight. So this, this one I was using at first, but it was a little too dark for me. So today I have on this one in the middle and I think it's perfect for my skin complexion my tone um and then the highlight i also put the highlight on today so i do like to try to wear products um when i talk about them in the video so you guys can kind of like see like how it looks on like my complexion my skin tone because this highlight i feel like is a little too chalky so i wind up just putting a little bit and then i had to blend that out and i added um one of my mac highlights with it to give it more like that extra glow but i do like the highlight too but it just is not my go-to the medium to dark might have worked better for my complexion but i really do enjoy this palette and i really do like this contour in the middle that color this color by itself is really really pretty so now moving on to some body care you guys know i love some body care products let's talk about first of all why nobody told me trader joe's was the plug for some items like trader joe's is it what their scrub okay so i went to trader joe's to get Two products was an oil and a body butter, which I'm going to talk about that next. But I stopped and wind up finding this lavender uh, salt scrub. Y'all, this scrub. Oh my goodness. Talk about a scrub. Y'all know I love a body scrub. This is probably the best body scrub I've ever used. Out of all the body scrubs I've ever tried, this is it. Like I... As you can see, I'm done. I'm like trying to save the corner, but I'm going to have to go back and get it because it's and it's inexpensive. I think it was only like eight bucks, but I did want to save um, some, of, some of it so I could use um, this scrub like instantly. My skin felt 
so soft silky smooth moisturized hydrated so the only thing i did notice that the oil is on top so now i know when i go back and purchase another jar to kind of like stir it up to stir the scrub up so that way the oil kind of gets all into all the um you know all the scrub this scrub is it for me i don't need another scrub the tea tree whatever it's called the tree hut scrubs i don't need that anymore that can go um, it was another scrub that I loved. Um, I think it was from Walmart. I can't even think of the name of it. If I could find it, I'll put, put a picture here. Like this, this tops all of them. Now, of course, I still use my Skin Fix scrub. I love that scrub as well. But this is like an everyday scrub. This scrub was very moisturizing. And I knew I instantly like it while I was scrubbing my skin. Like I felt it working. I felt felt like my dead skin cells um, being removed. I felt the moisture locking into my body. And then once I was finished with it, I did not have to put baby oil on after. Like normally I put baby oil in a shower after I've, you know, washed and exfoliated. I go in and lock my um, moisture in with baby oil. This any baby oil. I was I was set I am so happy I found this scrub and this is now a holy grail like I will forever forever buy this scrub like I'm telling y'all it's so good so freaking good and like I said eight bucks and it smells good you, you can't beat it so now moving on to my next favorite what I originally came to Trader Joe's for um, was two items and that was the coconut uh, body butter as well as the Trader Joe's lemongrass coconut body oil. So one of my YouTube friends, and she's also part of the Charlotte content crew, actually a couple of them, but the first girl was Denise. I'll link her page down below. And then I think I seen Nicole talk about it. I'll link her stuff. And then I think I seen Ashley talk about it. I'll link her stuff. But the three of them was raving about these products and it all started with Denise. She was saying it's so good, y'all. Try it, put it together. So what I will say is I love the oil. The oil? It got me. I love how lightweight the oil is, one. It's not heavy, it doesn't give you like that really greasy feel, so I do appreciate that. And then mixing the two was a really good combination. However, I do like this body butter. The only thing is, I think for my skin, it's not as heavy as I need it to be. Well, at least now, in the winter time, I need something a little bit heavier. I think this would be perfect for summertime. And then also it has like that summery coconut smell. To me, it gives me tropical beach vibes. So definitely love the butter, but I prefer this more in the summertime. So right now my skin is kind of dry, so this wasn't giving me the moisture that I needed to give. But I think I'm going to try this again in the summertime. So I'm going to hang on to what I have left, or I might just finish it and buy another one and see how my skin works in the summertime. But the oil? Oh, I'm wearing, I'm, I love this oil. I'll use this year round. Like this oil, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I got to make a... I have to make a trip again back to Trader Joe's to get my oil and to get my scrub. Love the oil. Um, I used it out the shower after I dried off. I've used it while my skin was still wet. Love this oil. Very, very good. Okay, so now moving on to my next favorite, which is another body care product. And that is the Raw Sugar Moisturizing Body Soap. So this I wind up picking up from Target um, about two weeks ago, I think I want to say about two weeks. So I can't find my ivory moisturizing body soap. So I wind up grabbing this just to see if it would give me like the same effect because it does say it's a moisturizing body wash and it's plant based. So I thought that was really, you know, kind of cool. This is the scent, the avocado and cactus pear, which I was like, ooh smells so good what i love about this soap is it has a nice skin scent afterwards that i truly appreciate i love how after i use it i can still smell it on my skin and that was a that was a plus for me and then it really moisturized my skin you know some soaps they'll say moisturizing moisturizing but this actually this actually did it like my skin felt really good anytime i try something new i try to use it without using something else to see if it really works so let's say how do i say that so i won't use like a body scrub like i won't exfoliate my skin or do anything to alter how this works so when i used it just by itself after washing like you know my washcloth or my regular body wash i went in and just used this afterwards and my skin felt soft i was like okay so now i'm gonna enhance it and i'm gonna use my my loofah my poofy and scrub my skin now with it and see what it does and it worked wonders which is leading to my next favorite which is my little poofy loofah 
thing that I got from Dollar Tree. This is what I use with the soap. I use these two together. I use the soap and my little uh exfoliating washcloth daily um i pretty much just pour it on get a good amount soap it up and exfoliate my skin so yes i do exfoliate my skin daily and then i will use the body scrub that i just previously showed you maybe about twice two to three times a week depending on how my skin feels but daily i do like to go and exfoliate with an exfoliating washcloth so i always recommend people if you have dry skin try to end your body wash care routine with a moisturizing soap and then also exfoliate your skin. Exfoliating is so beneficial for your skin. Um, it gets rid of dead skin cells. It also gives you just a more shinier complexion, smoother skin tone. It's not dull-like. So definitely recommend always exfoliating on the daily. So moving on to my next favorite of the month, which is going to be the Celestial Energy Tea. So you guys know I am a mom mom life sometimes kicks my butt when i tell you i'm tired some mornings there's there's mornings where i'm like i just want to lay in bed for like 20 minutes and chase he wakes up at like the crack of dawn like this boy is up 7 a.m happy 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 so this has it's an energy black tea and it has 95 grams of caffeine yes i know that's a lot however I like that as a black tea and it's not coffee. Like I'm more of a tea drinker than I am coffee. Coffee is something I'll drink like occasionally while I'm out or if, I don't know, if I just want something different. But most of the time I love drinking tea and I love black tea, surprisingly. Like I really do enjoy black tea. And it does say on here as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. And when I tell y'all the energy it gives you, Ooh, some nights when I drink this I'll be up to 12 a.m. 1 a.m. just going like still up like having so much energy those are usually the days when I'll try to like batch record too like I'm like just going 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 this tea is perfect and what I like most about it you know with coffee sometimes you'll crash this I never feel like I'm about to crash I never feel drains or like my energy goes down after and I need another cup I'm good for the whole entire day so love this tea now moving on to my last favorite for the month is going to be this dr teal's sleep spray this is the dr teal's uh sleep spray this is the one with the melatonin and essential oils first of all the smell it's the smell for me it's so good i love anything with lavender it kind of almost smells like a sexy man but not really a sexy man because it's still kind of sweet i just love the way it smells um this is actually aj's <laughs> And he keeps it by the bed because he kind of has trouble sleeping at night sometimes so he winds up spraying this But then I started using it one night. I was just up just just couldn't go to sleep And so I wound up just spraying it on a couple of my pillows and then I sprayed it on like the sheets When I tell you I was knocked out in like five minutes and that was like one of the best sleeps I've had Oh, I was gone. So this stuff actually really works it's something about like lavender that just really just calms you in i don't even know well does it have lavender in it i think it has lavender it smells like lavender so i'm assuming it has lavender i will say this definitely did the trick putting me to sleep giving you a good night's rest i love the way this stuff smells so definitely was a favorite this month that is it for my monthly favorites now moving on to my fail i only have one fail for the month of february and this is something that was on tiktok people were saying it's so good try it try it so tiktok made me buy it and that is the perfume from the mix bar and this one is the vanilla bourbon so i wind up picking this up randomly from target and it was because tiktok of course they're like yeah get it get it get it then one of my dance sisters when we were in college she was talking about the perfume too like it smells so good and i was asking her you know how long is the lasting power and she's like well let me try it i'll try it for the day and get back to you um so i was like well let me just try it i think they're only these were only about 20 dollars. now what i will say is initially the smell is there like the scents and I'll, all of them like i picked up a few of them and i was like mm, this smells good mm, this smells good mm, this smells good the smell is there for sure like it smells really, really good. Very, very, this one is more like a, you know, like my sexy grown man. So this one gives me grown, sexy, kind of going out, but also very, the vanilla, you really smell that vanilla in there. So it can be, I think this is a good daytime scent. So the scent is there, the bottle, the packaging is so cute. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Why it is a fail. The last in power, y'all, is a zero. The last in power is like a one, okay? It's last one hour like it does not last at all this is a fragrance you have to layer with or you should spray this 
fresh out the shower or really really drench yourself like this is not one of those we just need a few spritz and then you're good this is like you got to keep this in your bag and keep spraying yourself so that was the only thing i don't like about this and why it is a fail i will probably not repurchase any more of these because it's no point the the last impact was not there cute bottle smells really good i just wish the last empower like i said i wish it would last longer on your skin but unless they switch the formula up and do better Mm, this was just a ramp ramp. I do not recommend. Do not recommend buying these. So that is it, you guys, for my monthly February favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't already doing so, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and become part of the Couture Click family. So thank you so much for tuning in and sticking with me and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.